Uh... Oh, Metal's gone. <laughs> I'm back. Ah, the Book of Boba Fett episode three. Yay! Episode three. Here we are. We made it this. I didn't know if this would be. Oh, we're just gonna watch the first episode and you know have our funsies and move on with our lives. But no, I guess we're doing the whole damn thing. I love watching Mandalorian season three. Yes. You may think why. That is exactly what I'm thinking. I couldn't be happier that we're doing this. I am happy we're doing this. Uh, there's no fucking way I would watch this show if you guys didn't exist. We Fun don't of. exist more yeah. with figments of your imagination. Oh god. Mm. You've conjured us in your, in your brain to deal with the Star Wars content. <laughs> yeah, it's just you a laughing alone in your room. No, Walking it's not even your room. You're just in a cell. A padded cell with a straight jacket. Oh my god. Book, book of Boba Fett isn't real, Mola. No, no, no. All of EFAP, the whole internet thing. The channel, it's none of it's real. It's all just your way of coping with your insanity. You're like that girl in Final Destination, too. Oh. The Last Jedi came out, and you were the only you person who disliked it, and you went insane. Yeah, and I was yeah, like, it was... it's gonna get so ridiculous, they'll make a show all about Boba Fett, and he'll, like, fight for the sand people, get lizard in his brain. In yeah. Town Square. For five hours, mm -hmm. just screaming, Mola, and like, it was very disconcerting. Disney is a huge corporation. Do you really think that they they would, would fuck write up that much? <laughs> yeah, do you really think that they would write like a story about Boba Fett putting a lizard in his brain to fight a gun train? <laughs> the crazy like, shit those people come up with, you know. It's like, ugh. I want you to think to yourself, Mola, as you're watching today's episode. Mm. I want you to I want you to ask yourself, does this really seem like it genuinely <laughs> exists, or is it more likely that I've made this up in, in delusion? That you were making it up in your <laughs> delusion as you were going. You were like, What well, okay, this episode's pretty Oh, gun train, a rand a wild gun train appears. That's that, better, yes. That's the that's the question to ask as we're watching today. Which of those does is this more seem likely? like something somebody would write? So Something I just heard that I want to pick at, Mr. Rags, you, you described it as Mandalorian Season 3. If you were to guess at this point, <laughs> which of the three seasons is the superior, do you think, so far? Oh. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good reaction. I honestly do not <sighs> know. I'm very familiar with Mando Season 1, pretty darn familiar with Season 2. Mm -hmm. And this, ah, uh, just based off of two episodes, it, it I, I legitimately don't know. Like when I called it Mando season three, I think it was because they were all so similar and they were just on that same level of just uh, Star Wars stuff. And you look at, I, I think this is more entertaining. I'll say that because of how dumb it is. Mando's stupidity was a lot less, a lot more frustrating, I think, and subtle. Mm. But this, I think, is just, it's so clearly stupid. I, uh, th they all blend together and stay apart for me. It's a very bizarre situation because I, yeah. I remember Mandalorian season one to me, I remember being like, he really does go on a consistent adventure. It's just really fucking slow, and nothing really, really happens. Season 2 was cameo time, where it was just every episode we have a new person going, Hello! I've got my own show too! Come watch it! And then Boba Fett's formula, what the hell is this? Where he's like, I'm gonna be a crime lord. Oh, oh, I'm hurt. Oh, I'm sad. I'm gonna go in my little tub and go <laughs> and do a flashback for the rest of the episode. <laughs> it's like, stop! They are different, but at the same time, oh, they're the exact same, like, in terms of the problems. I could distinctly tell them apart. If you put three glasses of water in front of me, they're clearly different things, right? Like, I can distinguish between each glass hmm. from the others. What if like, they're separated. Have, like, ice in it? There's, like, a little bit of food dye in each one. Kind of, maybe just a little bit, oh, but yeah, even that... if it was just a glass of water, I could tell there are three individual glasses of water on the table, but it's all glasses of water. I think There's that's the perfect three analogy, though, you, you, you've come across there, is that the Book that. of Boba Fett and the, the two seasons of Mando are glasses of water dyed different colors. Not they that taste different, the same, <laughs> they just look, they're dyed maybe slightly different shades of brown. Hmm. Maybe they're they're all different temperatures, but you're looking at them. I think Mando wanted two are different shades of gray, and then Boba Fett is green. Hey. I don't know. I wouldn't put him that far apart. <laughs> hey. I wouldn't distinguish him that much. Fringy, you are aware that Boba Fett's armor is green. I know that it's, it's green, but... And it's okay. There are bad things that can be green. That doesn't, uh, that doesn't uh, yeah, tarnish it's... green. That's okay. Welcome to the part of the show called Comment Showcase. Oh my goodness, I'm so Yay. excited. I didn't know that we were doing a comment show. I figured we may as well. It's fun with Boba Fett. The audience have been quite... They hate this show. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my goodness. This one says, If you told me in 2010 that there would be a show about Boba Fett, 
in which he would insert lizards into his nose, be tripping balls, and become a Tusken Raider at a loft. I am beyond <laughs> confused. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. It is kind of unreal to think about. Uh, but that is the direction they went. Um, there are some people who are happy about this. I've seen them on Twitter. You're in there. Of course, they freaks. They're like, Lizard Brain Gang. Lizard, yeah. <laughs> Lizard <laughs> They've gang. been waiting for it's this. It's so amazing how I, can, I love to see that he got his stick made. That was incredible. Oh my, we're learning so much about the Tusken Raiders. We're filling in all the world building we didn't get in the other films. Oh, I'm so glad to see that Boba Fett said the thing that I like. Oh my gosh. I was I'm crying. Just a simple man, like a I cried. <laughs> I can't believe they unironically had someone combing the desert. Star Wars has become such a joke <laughs> that it's taking inspiration from Spaceballs, the thing that's a parody of it. I'm, I am beyond shocked that that's not something that any of us mentioned. Uh, Excuse me. Especially me. Surely we did. Right? I made that joke in the recording, and you cut it out. I don't know what the rake is for then. Oh, he's gonna beat her. He's gonna oh, beat her. It's like desert, Lost Samurai. Yeah. My comments. <laughs> about um mega weapon didn't make it into the final either maybe someone spoke over me and it didn't come through in the recording but i definitely said it and what kind it, of a shoddy production is this i quit <laughs> yeah, this is fucking bullshit okay well so we'll satisfy the audience play the space full clips now are we being too literal no you fool we're following orders we were told to calm the desert so we're calming it found anything yet not a thing sir what about you guys we ain't found shit I don't know how I would have missed that from you guys, because I just, like, I just, it didn't cross my mind at all, because I was so blown away by it. Just watching someone pathetically comb, like, just a half inch of sand, I was just like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's what they do so all day, well, I guess. Because, well, yeah, because, so do you guys know what's happening there? Same That's... shot people digging for those fruits, and then there's it's one not... guy with, like, a calm comb. Like, it's <laughs> not the, the they're digging for the water things. They're digging for those, um, I don't know if they're called mud rats the little or something. The, yeah, the little cricket rats things. Yeah, because if you look at the combing <laughs> in the episode, uh, there's always <laughs> a Tusken Raider with a stick, like, watching them. Uh, like, 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 ready to stab anything that comes. Up. So that's the idea. They're combing to to disturb the little little rat guys. They go blah, blah, blah and then they they kill them. That's that's. Then apparently... they shoot him, and then Boba Fett smiles. Oh yeah, yeah. Then Boba Fett smiles. Like, yeah, he's very <laughs> happy. But they, I, um, he's very happy. Very I just, satisfied. I just don't believe that that's the ecosystem. I just don't believe it at all. <laughs> I, I like, it's so stupid. Like, but that's that's what they want us to think is happening. They comb the desert to get the little rats, <laughs> and then they shoot them. Why don't they just go to a desert that isn't um, like yeah, like why don't they go to the desert from Darmok? Go there where there's like plants and trees, no. but it's still dusty and there's rocks everywhere. So you can be like, yeah, this is Tatooine, but I can believe that a people could like live here because the Tatooine is just sand dunes now. That's it. It's just sand dunes everywhere. Yeah, we love it. Good thing there are these random. Good thing there are these just these random bulbs full of water. Yeah, for that, some reason, that. just right underneath the the dunes that they could dig up and drink. We kind of just That's accepted fortuitous. that. Like, <laughs> it's a very strange. Like, there's loads of them everywhere. It's like, okay, that's how that works. Where they come from? There's no no idea. <laughs> just... No idea. What happened to the moisture farmers? Dead. Well, the, the, the Tusken Raiders probably kidnapped, tortured, and raped all of them. And well, the survivors, they turned into slaves. That's not very nice, right? The Tusken Raiders are real cool. I, we definitely don't have any instances of them being barbaric, horrible <laughs> savages. That would be that's just would be awkward <laughs> if the show started with them taking someone like, as a slave. They just the... kidnapped Shimmy Skywalker and killed her. We never even knew why. Like, hey, those were different <laughs> just Tusken died of... Raiders. Okay, all right. And these those Tusken Raiders, Boba. Yeah, these, those these ones, ones were ones different than the ones. Boba. Yeah, the, the, and these that ones bad. were different from the ones that almost killed Luke Skywalker in A New Hope. Yes. Imagine if they succeeded. What would the state of the galaxy be if the fucking Tusken Raiders <laughs> actually killed Luke Skywalker? Or the Wampa. That's a funny name. What if they hadn't ki kidnapped, Wampa. tortured to death Shmi? Is it Shmi or Shimi? Shmi? 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 Not to be confused with the, Smee, the who is Raiders. Captain Hook's right-hand man. <laughs> the Tusken Raiders are actually the most I wouldn't want people faction. to think I'm talking about Smee. <laughs> Don't try to stop me, Smee. I'm not a game. I just want to make sure that we're talking hey, about look, two different individuals here. I that was always one of my favorite scenes in Peter Pan was when Smee was shaving Captain Hook and he thought he had cut his head off and thought he was dead. <laughs> mm, 
I never shaved him this close before. Oh, don't worry, Captain. It, it must be somewhere about. <laughs> ah, I see. Good as new. <laughs> Why are you blithering, blockhead? That, that movie that was movie. a trip, man. That's, a, that's an EFAP movie, right there. Their reputation is legendary. This regards the assassin from the previous episode. And the person said, You expect me to believe that a group of people surrounding a guy with shields and tasing him for unknown reasons are not only. Not just a random gang, but they're also a group of legendary assassins. Like, no. They were a gang of legendary assassins? That's how they're yeah, described, can you tell? yeah. He is of the Order of the Night Wind. Assassin for hire. Very expensive. Their reputation is legendary. Well, yeah, well, that should be what obvious. What is the legend? The, they said <laughs> They, one, the legend is that one day they were able to assassinate someone successfully. <laughs> That's it's the legend. The one time their you have to wonder. technique worked. Yeah, like, I'm assuming oh, they just, actually got him. They just electrocute you until your heart gives out. That's gotta be it. Are you maybe you die of thirst or <laughs> something? We got you now. Maybe they just go maybe they go for the old and the weak. Maybe they just they they are dispatched to kill people in like elderly mm. homes, hospice care. To be fair to the legendary assassins, the sons of Korhal or whoever the fuck they're called, the, the Oompels. The Oompels must be judged on the, the the Disney efficacy scale of competence, right? Because everyone in this universe is a moron mm -hmm, who mm -hmm. doesn't know what the hell they're doing. I'm I'm surprised that an interstellar galactic civilization can exist at all. But if you put them on that scale, they're kind of like, hey, legendary. They they manage to organize. And stand in a circle. Yeah, That's they, something. They managed to delay Boba from doing his daily routine. Yeah, so one of them know. just disappeared when he got hit by a rocket <laughs> when he was climbing up the building. That's pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Remember that one was really afraid of the Rancor? Yeah, yeah. yeah he was like, ooh, don't want to know. It's smart to be afraid of the Rancor, I think. That's that's positive. I'm more afraid of rancors that exist, you know, like when the thing's opening up and you just clearly there's just nothing in there. So theoretical right, rancors, rancors don't scare you as much. Exist. Yeah, Schrodinger's Rancor is not as not as terrifying as an actual Rancor. I agree with that. And let us also point out that if you are an assassin, either alone or in a, a guild or group of them, you probably shouldn't have uniforms that are easily identifiable. No, Black Widow is great. Shut up. Yeah, what the fuck? I'm so glad Boba worked so hard at taking down a gun train, which always has the same route, despite not being restricted to a track, in the middle of a desert with a bunch of random speeders with some colony of Tuscans so we can have a lizard inserted into Boba's brain showing him a tree, experience the tree, have PTSD, find the tree and bring back a branch. Thanks, John. I'm so glad this is Star Wars now. Hey, it's okay that it keeps going the same route. That's not the problem. That's fine. If you have the freedom to completely move anywhere you want and last time you bumped into a a whole colony of people shooting at you. Wouldn't you just go a easier route or further away? But like, what? The gunfire does nothing. I guess they could go a different route. But like, I would. Yeah, I'd go around, or I'd relish murdering them. There's, there's something to be said about the nature of that trade in the in the world of Star Wars. I suppose, like a lot of people have been talking about whether or not you'd even have trains because you have spaceships and stuff would you don't just it, special circumstances might exist in yeah. which you can't travel through the atmosphere. Or engines might give out a certain maybe it's signature cheaper? or flying a huh? spaceship requires you know which way up is. Oh, oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, what's well, that, Mahler? Maybe it's cheaper. I don't know. Like, like somehow, it, like I can't imagine, but maybe, maybe, like if, like you know how in Solo you had the trains on the track, mm -hmm. and the tracks were going through these crazy landscapes when they should just be flying. You know? Yes. Yeah. 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 Maybe if you had like you have a mine, how mines have like mine cart rails you're constantly sending things back and forth over and over and over the same distance in the same place maybe there could be room for installing a rail that uses a lower power engine that just goes back and forth to fulfill that specific transportation requirement it doesn't need to change directions other than back and forth and it's the same route every time and it's just made to haul things Maybe that's like a situation where you could say like, oh, okay, yeah, instead of having something fly around, we need to do that instead. But yeah, in this world, it's always seemed like because even the Skywalkers had that that land speeder, right? It seems like just everyone can just afford something that flies. You'd think. You'd I mean, think. Except for the Empire, they had to use those wheelie things that were stupid to transport that volatile exploding Oh Good. god. Oh, why would you remind me of that episode? That's the face scanner episode. Error. Error. Facial scan incomplete. 
That is the face scanner episode. <laughs> no. oh. Let's oh. not internalize how dumb Mando is, just so we're clear. You know how uh, Boba Fett, he's been acting wildly differently to how we're used to from the OT. Yes. Yeah, this mm. is like a whole different person. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, like, it's thankfully, uh, after I mentioned that on Twitter, someone generously explained to me why it is that he's acting different. Oh, good. Awesome. I, I, need, uh, I need some light shed on this mystery. Yeah, I was going to say. The comics said that the Sarlacc can have a psychic effect on those it is digesting. So okay. addressing that first point, I don't remember anybody ever saying that. Is that from some fucking book? Is that what's it says going comics. on? The comics said it was from... Cool! Yeah, well, that doesn't matter. Next point. Which which ones, though? <laughs> is it the old ones? Well, so, I'm sorry, hang on, though. But, like, even if that's... Even if we accept that, well, it's just yeah, like... Yeah. Hey, yeah, the comics... Um, let's just accept the comics fully. Yeah, the Sarlacc psychically turned Boba into a different character. That's well, shit. I was That's gonna say, no one and... would like that. Like, you, if, if anyone has ever swallowed by the Sarlacc, they'll come out a different character. You're like, what? <laughs> like, yeah, no? so I mean, so Boba Fett did die in the Sarlacc pit, and some so, different yeah. version of that body just arose and is now yeah. pals with the Tusken Raiders, I guess. Then we've got a near-death mm. experience like that could be an explanation for a change in motivation. Uh, yeah, near-death experiences can change your opinion on a lot of things. I, I, don't, yeah, I don't see the through line. And plus, mm. they didn't do a good... I don't think they did a good job sort of establishing that this was a, a really rough life-or-death thing that he did. It, it actually kind of seemed like it was fairly easy. I'm surprised not everyone didn't get out, you know? Like the stormtrooper who's just there for some reason, why didn't he just shoot his blaster a few times and get vomited up or whatever? I yeah, well, because you, you say that as if, like, that's what knife. happened to, to um, Boba when he set up the fire. Like, did the Sarlacc, like, regurgitate him? But, like, I don't even know. I don't came know. Came out of the sand yeah. Up yeah. away from the pit, so I am guess like, I guess he just he, like, break crawled out? Maybe. I just don't see the through line. Why would that experience yeah. make someone heroic? What, to like, me, this, this, this reveals, like, a really low bar for just, uh, character development as a concept it's like yeah hey well something happens to them so it makes sense that they change completely it's like no we need to do a little more yes, than that something happened and that's it it's of course it makes sense that darth vader suddenly decided to move out of the empire and start a bakery on naboo he lost his phone he had kidney stones yeah <laughs> he was in a car yeah. crash of course he started a bakery you like I don't that was a near-death experience that changes people. Yeah, you just I, just, I need more connecting lines. I have, I've also had a few people saying that this is more in line with his characterization from the Clone Wars, which is something I wasn't even aware he was in. I had no clue. That's possible, I guess. Wasn't but... he like five? Or oh. what, yeah, you, you have to assume, right? But everything we know about him was from yeah. the OT. Which is after the Clone Wars. Which is after the Clone Wars, so... Unless the Clone Wars see... has like flash-forward episodes or something. I don't know. I think it does. You know what? Maybe episode three holds the answer. Maybe they'll finally explain what happened. I'm excited to find out. Are you? Yeah! yeah. No, nice. Look at that. Great. Everyone's on board. Eat your da. Eat your da. Eat your da. That means eat shit. That was my joke. Eat your da. Do you say eat shit? Was it? That's I'm sorry. Just... Those Gamorreans should have like spears or something they could poke. The Gamorreans almost seem like they're only there to be like, hey, Gamorreans. Uh... Empty. Yeah, we're not really bad. What, did they show us that just because he's going to get a Rancor then? I don't know. I think it's going to be relevant this episode. I I'm still don't even know what Boba Fett wanted there. <laughs> yeah, he came mm. in to be like, you guys suck. Came in. What does a blue thing say? Yes, this belongs to us, actually. According to who? <laughs> Galactic Law? So, t that was all pointless then. The Tusken Raiders aren't going to be All of this is pointless, Stringy. <laughs> well, the, but clearly the Tusken Raiders aren't going to be important because we didn't show them in this flashback. Well, to be fair, the previous... they probably will be relevant, but nothing we've done with them will be relevant, if that makes sense. Right, like, yeah. Which is just fantastic. You love to see it. <laughs> you love to <laughs> see it. Because, dude, we get another flashback. No fucking way we're not oh, getting another yeah, flashback. Oh, yeah, we are. Mm -hmm. You just boot it. Is Spider that a... robot. That's stop motion. It looks like stop motion. It looks yeah, stop yeah. motion, yeah. That's cool. Oh, it looks kind of. It doesn't look imposed on the shot that well, though. Unfortunately. Here you see the businesses that were under the protection of the name that should not be spoken. Voldemort. No. You can say Jabba. They can't say Jabba. Why can't you say? Why can't they say Jabba? Apologies, Master Fett. Can you just get on? Who is this robot, by the way? Yeah. Don't you have like a person to do this? Matt Berry. Why can't he? It's Matt. Just Matt Berry. What department is this? 
some sort of uh, homosexual department. I don't think I've ever looked in this drawer. <laughs> wow, a gun! <laughs> Sometimes I like to sketch someone as I'm talking to them. <laughs> May I? Bib Fortuna assumed Jabba's mantle. All of this while lining the pockets of Mayor Mog Shays. Everyone is waiting to see what kind of leader you are. Wow, that, that felt more interesting That's... than this show's been at all. Like, well, yeah, because you only have, like, three employees at this point. <laughs> it's so absurd. You've old... got Fennec right. and the two Gamorrean guards, and I guess you and a can robot. include the Matt Berry robot, but is he an employee or a slave? He doesn't <laughs> get paid for this. I got those cups over there. Oh, it's so it's... empty. Where are your people? Where are your people? Do you want entertainment? Like a drink? Oh, I am Lord Appeal. I am a What do you mean? You, you didn't tell him your business? Oh, I know him. What is yeah, he was in Barry and other yeah. things. Oh, apologies, uh, That's right, yeah. No one respects you. Enough! Wow. Let him speak. Even Fedex like, God, you're so lame. The streets have turned to chaos. And I am insulted on your behalf at the disrespect these urchins are showing you. Especially in light of the, uh, well, you know, the assassination attempt. Was, yeah, that so was embarrassing. Uh, that was yeah, pretty uh, embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> One of my petition. A street gang of insolent youths has been stealing my inventory. Now, this never happened under the other daimyos, and I am insulted on your behalf. And your inventory is water. I grew up surrounded by water. Well, Tatooine was one. <laughs> what relevance is that? I've seen water yeah. before. <laughs> <laughs> I know of this water. I modify their bodies with droid parts to make themselves even more deadly. I wow, I can't wait to see how shit they are. The streets mm. and oh my god. Double my tribute to him. It's another RPG quest. Yeah, it is, another it is except the quest giver comes yeah. to you. Now that's service. Yeah. Let me guess, those yeah. evil water... Some people are stealing to... my water. Please let me, let me guess, those evil water thieves are going to be good guys. I'm gonna say it right now. Hmm, maybe. Some we guns. guessed the, the twist of the previous quest. Well, because next episode we're gonna interrogate that one guy and he's gonna tell us that uh, he was sent by Bibbly Bobble and then we go get him. And then he was, it's, it's not the mayor. It turns out it's a third faction who's trying to sow discontent between the mayor and Boba. Something, something like that. Yeah. And the assassins. Mayor has no power. Somebody else is behind that play. That's. I've got my Gamorian guards. <laughs> and their <laughs> tiny skirts. Oh man, look at these youths. To crime what he charges. Then farm your own water. There's some of a gun there. You should be a little bit concerned. Look, old man. Old man? Why would you? <laughs> He's got a gun. Well, yeah, you, uh... <laughs> Shoot her in the fucking head right I'm now in front of these other people. Distance. Shoot her in the I'm fucking head. Shoot her, mate. You all should be working. There is no work, mighty Daimyo. I don't believe you. <laughs> what do you mean? Go farm for water. That's work. Turns out the waterman is the evil. Help us. No. No. Me. Stop. What are you doing? This? Then you will work for me. Why? No. Why? Because <laughs> he needs employees. Right? I, I guess it's true. I gotta have someone you press that. the button. <laughs> Look at his team. It's like I got, I got big guards. Oh, no. This girl. Stole from me. Oh, he was You're just there. Just going to <laughs> let them all. What do they owe you? 1,300 credits. For water. Take the 500 and consider it resolved. If you want to continue to do business in my territory. How much Ooh, water? Wait, 13? Yeah, I was gonna say, it depends. We don't know how much the water they stole. Yeah, well, this guy is a legitimate victim of theft. Continue. That's an unreasonable price for water. You have no idea how much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you have no idea how much. What if that's what it costs just for him to make any kind of profit and feed himself? Cut your prices. The rest of you get Just up, do that. Just cut your me. prices. Oh, okay. Cut the prices of I like water. I don't even tell him in what way. Like, like how you much? Wanna work? You wanna work or not? Hey, remember those guys you stole from that dude? Turns out Boba Fett did this. I was like, oh, sweet. Let's go steal now. And this is better than the, the Tusken Raider crap, but... Rags, he's going to get into that fucking back to tank any second now. <laughs> no! Like, no! Oh, no! 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 Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Morian guards, wake him up! Wake 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 up! Is this the same shot from the last episode? I think it might be. Yeah. Oh, they're showing us. A hey, look! Little it's bit more. Slave One. No, 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 you can't no, no, say no, that. no, no, it's no, 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 no,
there is PJs. Hey, we don't know he was sleeping. Yeah, That's true. I guess he was. Go play with the other, the, the little, what are they? Yeah, the, the, the clones. The kids here. Oh. What are they called? The clones. Did you forget the word for? Oh, that looked so bad. Yeah. That looked boy. Bad, yeah. No. No. <laughs> Why did you care about these Tuscans? Oh, Why are I would you not... have been fine oh, to go to Camino for a flashback. I would have been okay yeah, I was okay yeah, with that. That would have been different. Why don't you just why, go to Anchorhead, again. right? To yeah, get a ship fucking... off world. Can we be That's done the with the Tuscans? I beg you. <laughs> Please. I never want to see you know, another living Tuscan little... again. Anakin, where are you? They gave him a <laughs> Bantha. Apparently, yeah. Well, he needs something to take. To be fair, he has been phenomenally helpful for that little crew, so. It's hard to believe that we beat and slaved him just the other week. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God this means probably no more Tuscans. Oh, I guess we're moving on finally. WRONG! WRONG! Nice. Well, this has got to be news to him, right? Oh, hey. It would be. Yeah. Remember that? The Empire's fallen. Remember that visual that made us think From Mando, there was a chance yeah. this Mando? show could be good? Yeah. Well, the oh, shows it's in new. General. Yeah. Uh, mm. Yeah. Ripperoo. Oh, the... they have guns, I think. That's nice. So does he. I bet he... I can't wait for him to bash people That's with it until it breaks. I want to see what that Bantha gets up to. That's what I want to I see now. Just... You gonna let him take those weapons in? Mm. Yeah. Man. Oh, this is the train guy. Very well, I'll take payment. Be on my way. I've spoken with my superiors on Obadiah, and they are unwilling to pay protection to more than one party. We are one party. <laughs> Obviously, there's a second party. The Kintan Striders have already collected protection money for the same territory you lay claim to. It's those fucking bikers, I'm guessing, is the other. Oh, the bikers, mm. yeah. Sands have belonged to the Tuscans since the oceans dry. Yes. We are I happy care. to. Do Doesn't fucking matter if people are. Who cares? The Tuscans are horrible. If they get an attack by other parties, then who cares who owns the Sands? You know, one gunship could kill all of the Tuscans. You will not hear from the Nikto Sand Riders again. Oh. Man, I like how it's just like, so, I'll resolve this by killing the bikers. Yeah, we've decided the bikers are evil, the Tuscans are good, I guess. Alright, well, Thanks, I... Thanks, Boba. Alright. I wonder how many people wow. the bikers okay. enslaved to well, in this I place. guess it's just interesting, because if he linked up with the bikers, would he have just been on their side? Yeah, yeah, yeah killed if the bikers had enslaved... And then the bikers had all enslaved over and beaten him the first, would he of, be on their side? The sands of Tatooine belong to the bikers. <laughs> it's the their biker ancestral gangs. land. The biker gangs of Mos Eisley. Can this thing go any faster? I was gonna say, that is a slow transport. I hope no one shoots me. Ooh, are they dead? Or did oh, they kill so someone? Why did you get off and then run? Dude, this is one of the things we said would happen, <laughs> if you remember. Yeah. Yeah, but it'd be nice, but it, yeah, but I wasn't expecting it yet. I'm so glad <laughs> to be done with the Tuscans. It would be nice to be done with the Tuscans. Oh, please, 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 Oh, fuck yes! I hope they suffer. I'm so <laughs> fucking happy. Thank God. No one, no more people are gonna get tortured. Are they gonna slave? This shows like this is terrible. I'm like, no. This is good. I don't think slaughtering them all was was the solution Man, to them doing slavery. Own. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> no, the... Oh Jay, no, not you. Jay, oh, like, you. I'm not sure if they should have been slaughtered. Roll like. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, not that, not that one. Yes. <laughs> was that the was that the leader one? Yeah, yeah it was the bikers. That's... Get wrecked. Yeah, you probably should have killed them. You shouldn't have let them live, huh? Yeah, remember? Well, we know. When you... I we know. know. We know this. They're not done. You don't need to show us that. We know. <laughs> yeah. This fucking music. Jesus. No, I don't care. <laughs> it's very. Oh, he's just gonna burn the pile the of bikers them. Bikers are that's, chads. That's their. Uh... We've already established that. That's how they do funerals. Uh, that is. Yeah, that's their custom. Oh, is that the kid stick? Training stick. Oh, the, oh, oh, they yeah. didn't have the balls to show the dead kid, did they? No, of course not. I don't think they're uh, allowed I mean, to. Sorry, the younglings, the youngling. Why do you care? But what do you mean? What they were? I will never forget these people who enslaved they taught him me. They spent <laughs> three weeks defending from a gun train. They made him a stick. Oh, they did. Yeah. After, after they put, he, they put a Oh god, can we? Nose. Can that be it? Can we not do another flashback, please? Uh, yes, no, no more flashbacks. It. There's no way that's it. No. Oh that whoa! Be, what? Um, oh. Um. Um, why Body didn't you shoot him? What the fuck? Why no, didn't you no, shoot him? That's a Wookiee, mate. It's, You're not it's winning. It's a Wookiee, dude. <laughs> and he's a big one, too. He's like a bear. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it have been great if the Wookiee brought a gun? Ooh, Throw him into his <laughs> weapons, <laughs> that's the plan. <laughs> why did you just not shoot him? Oh, this is lame. This Where is, is the actual gun. What? 
Where is everyone? Oh, well, uh, grab what? the stick! Goodness. I am so... Wow! Why is the Wookiee letting him do that? Why? Why? Where? I... I just... What? What is happening? <laughs> oh my god! Wookiee, what are you doing? Hey, gouge out his eyes! We gouge out his mouth. fucking eyes with oh, your hands! Out. Just punch it once. Oh, oh, no, no. oh, come on! None of you have a gun. Oh, <laughs> you have a gun. Oh, None of you have a gun. Are you telling me that the, the stupid what? youths are gonna beat the Wookiee? Why was it. this a decision that was made? What the <laughs> fuck is this? What are we why, doing? Why are doing this? So, what? <laughs> How is that sticking in him? Why did the Wookiee oh, not have a gun? God. Oh, there you are. No, oh, no, there's the Gamorrean guards. Whoa, okay. Where the fuck were Whoa, you guys? Wookiee fighting Gamorreans. Where were That's you? That's so cool. How come nobody has a gun? <laughs> Where is uh, he? <laughs> it what? wouldn't be Did he stop that with his hand? He's gonna go to the- he's gonna fall in the pit. He's gonna fall in the pit. Oh, it's a vampire Wookiee. Why do these kids re- Have a gun, just shoot oh, him. Fennec. Shoot uh, him with uh, the gun! Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a gun! No, she used the gun! <laughs> 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 Oh my god, I'll take my knife, I'll take the throwing gun. I was like, thank you! I got a gun, finally. Nope, lol, it's a knife! There's a knife in the What was this absolute disaster, everyone? What were we what were we doing? I've hired all of you. Yeah. All of you couldn't defend this. That far in. He managed to get to my throat. What the fuck, everyone? Like Why would the hut send their guy? This guy, Boba knows who he is. Yeah. Why would you send and him? How could you and why would you not give him a gun? How could he fail so bad? <laughs> why are you eat chicken with your gloves? Why are you eating chicken with your gloves on, you <laughs> bitch? Why do they make so much food for two people? <laughs> Who's <laughs> eating all this? <laughs> the Gamorians, maybe. Everyone is watching. Maybe Gormor the Gamorian gourmets. Mm. The Gourmetian guards. I don't know. Well, maybe nice. you should get some actual guards. That would be a good start. And yeah, that's our one action scene. Can't wait for the next one. They sent Chrysanthemum to kill you. And now he's locked up in your dungeon. Are you sure yep. he's trying to kill you? Why, why don't you send back his night. fucking or head? God, that was an attempt at killing Boba. It's like, yeah, right. The fact that he managed to get in and didn't encounter anybody, but didn't have a gun or a knife. Nope. <laughs> Just wanted to strangle, pick him up, throw him. That's all. Mola, would you say this was a better strategy or a worse strategy than hitting someone with a teapot? They don't have to his front door! He walked all the way Wait, what here. are you doing? <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> what? We've come to apologize. <laughs> oh my god. Just kill him. This, yeah, this scene has comedy music Just under it. it. They're funny. Just fucking shoot the both of them right now. Oh, oh that's it, you. Oh, there you go. Thanks for the rancor. Pow, oh. pow. Could have used that floating speeder to just move around. Yeah, it's already here. You can kill it. Yeah, well, I, I love the idea. Yeah. <laughs> Why isn't that yours? Stupid. Oh my god, it's Machete! Oh, it is. Wait, is Daddy Trey? Oh my it's god, Daddy it is. Trejo! <laughs> yeah, the episode is saved! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who is that guy? Daddy, Daddy Trejo? Trejo, he's in everything. Say your piece. Yeah, you don't have a word for syndicate? That's bullshit. Syndicate. How do I know you're not lying to me? Wait, so we're actually not doing the huts? They're gonna go. We don't want war bad for business. Oh, okay. It's not bad for business at all. Here is your prisoner. I offer him back if you renounce all claims to Jabba's legacy on Tatooine. No, of course not. Kill him. Why? Why? They're why? What? No way a hut thinks what? Tatooine is worth No, it's not. No, it isn't. Wait, okay, but so you just want Tatooine, so why don't you just renounce your claim and get back the Wookiee? Wait, so this the Wookiee's gonna be under our employment now. Uh, gonna employ why did you know, any of that happen? I just I want you guys why. to understand that everyone who tries to kill Boba Fett becomes mm. like his friend no or feelings. employee no hard feelings you're just you're such a fucking pussy Take it from dude. An ex bounty hunter 
Don't work for Scumholes. Ex bounty hunter, there you have it. It's not worth no, it. you made a living working for Scumholes until that jetpack incident. But you're the yeah, one who flew say, next to Luke. It wasn't the, the the employees that fucked you over, oh, Boba. It's because you're an idiot. You just introduced him. I like and that you got a shit boss fight, and then you he just sure jogs off into idea? the desert. I'll arrange a meeting with the mayor. No, just show up. Yeah. Don't tell him when oh, you will be oh. arriving. Why does it just lie there? It's depressed. What? Because Rancor are emotionally complex creatures. Now the Rancor can't be blind? evil. Nothing can be bad anymore. The They're quite peaceful unless threatened. I really? don't believe you. I so don't he, believe. Did he feel threatened when Luke got dropped into the pit? That yeah. Or that, or that, a one Gamorrean guard who fell in by accident. I, they're trying to retcon everything to just be this. swell and magical. I want to learn to ride this one. What? Ride what? it? Why? No, use a speeder or a spaceship. <laughs> you, you can strap guns and Why rockets. Why the fuck do you want to ride a Rancor? <laughs> it doesn't have shields or anything. I guess it would what, be you're, what you're missing is that it would look but, cool. Yeah, yeah but, the, but is that really it? <laughs> it looks silly. Yeah, you I know how many Star Wars fans saw this and went, finale. oh my god, Boba Fett's going to yeah, ride a Rancor. In the season yeah. finale, he's going to ride in on a Rancor and it's going to be crazy. And then fucking someone will shoot it with a blaster and it's dead. Because if it's me, I'm like, I need like a speeder to get around or a spaceship or something and I want to strap strap like rockets to it and I want it to have shields so I don't get shot. Like this. Excuse me, Lord Fett. Not now, I'm busy. We heard back from the mayor's office. He remains completely unavailable for at least the next 20 days. We're not waiting for an appointment. What if he's not in town? If he's not available, maybe he's Yeah, not that's even... true. He's like, why is, is he in town? Oh, he is? Okay, we now we're not waiting for an appointment. We're also going to walk into the front door. Ah, uh, <laughs> our biker oh. gang. Biker gang with our so weird fifties bikes in the Star Wars universe. So they had to walk while the people on speeders just. Oh, that mm -hmm. does not. That's <laughs> not <laughs> right. That is not right. right. Is this the screenshot you saw, saw Molo? This is the aesthetic mismatch. Yeah, it clashes so hard. An actual real motorcycle yeah, would fit this environment far. better. Yeah. Wouldn't they have security in this well, office? I, I don't know why the mayor people haven't expected this. Yeah. So if you'll excuse me, I'll see what I'm able to... No, I'm gonna follow you well, right yeah, he's fucking gonna run now. Away. He's gonna run away. Uh, yeah, he's no, gonna you don't let away. him leave. You, you go with him. Guys, he's, he's gone. Did he just lock the door? Y yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, of course he <laughs> locked the idiot. fucking door, you fucking idiot. Moron. God. God damn, you are a thick motherfucker. No, he's tapping the button like, come on, come on. Oh, fuck off, Penny. Again. Right, don't you ruin your oh, knife. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay. All right, then. Oh, oh, the door. The door. What if one fucker has to throw a grenade and you're dead? Or just shoot the most of you that isn't covered by armor? Oh, Why does wow. He please? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Car chase. No, no. Oh, we no. Oh, no. I'm, I'm so depressed. Like, though, these I'm guys so would maybe depressed. fit on, like, Coruscant, but... Maybe. Yeah. I would allow yeah. them on Coruscant, I think. They're yeah. so slow. Oh, God. Welcome to the oh. Book of Boba Fett, everybody. No, he did oh, get I'm out so of the glad way. that the robot didn't get hit. This is so awkward. This is the. Oh, no. This is like a car chase you'd expect to see in an episode of The Golden Girls. <laughs> Such a slow <laughs> speed car chase. It's so slow. Yeah. And, but what like, what doing? is at stake right now? It's like the mayor's aide is just kind of casually trying to slowly escape. Let him go. I don't. Why do you care about him? This looks so fucking slow. Why is it's this the situation? Someone else tell you where the mayor is. Well, exactly. Like, what, what? Did he not expect this would happen? Why is there no security? Why is there no system set up to account for Boba? Uh, where are his gods? Yeah. Oh no. Oh no, water. Water's expensive. You guys should steal Ooh. it. That looks so bad. That looks really bad. <laughs> oh, I look yeah, bad. That looks pretty wonky. Are these like new heroes that they think people are gonna root for and buy action I'm, figures oh, of? Oh man. I got no clue. Just, they look oh, so embarrassing. Well, just hit them with your speeder. Yours hit is way them bigger. With your speeder, are they yeah. kicking him? Oh, what? Oh, they. Oh. 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 Uh, uh, oh. Uh, uh, Why are you letting him do that? Uh, this is so it's long still going. And boring. This it's is so shitty. Still... It's so cartoony. This, like, this feels like a no, scene. What? Uh, Why did oh, you do no. that? This do is the oh, robot no. wants to kill its masters. <laughs> it's an uprising. <laughs> how, how many? Mirrors oh, look how cool this is going to be. She is so cool. Look at all those mirrors. Yeah, it's for all of the different things. 
Oh, okay. What was she, that? She did it. What is this? She, she, she did it. Do you know how upset this is gonna make the town? Oh, at look, you, yeah. Boba Fett? Yeah. You know how pissed off the town is gonna be at you? Oh god, wow, she's badass, so cool. man. She's so cool and amazing. Dude, look at all the She's so cool. I want to respect all this. her. <laughs> Let me respect. You. Oh, there he is. Oh, he does. He just does the whole time. Where is he? He's with the pikes. Just tell them oh, that. The Why didn't you tell them that in the Why sky? didn't you tell them that? Yeah. <laughs> you did all of it. Now the town hates you, Boba Fett, because you ruined all their floop berries. Why? Yeah, Why? Oh, look, the spaceship. Remember, Star Wars has things that fly through the air. Oh yeah. yeah. You might have forgotten. Just Why is wait. the show so bad? <laughs> Oh my gosh, House Atreides has arrived on Tatooine. <laughs> oh. oh, it has. Right. It's these guys. Yeah, it's these guys. <laughs> these guys were uh, yeah. shit, so... Their masks worry. come in three colors. It saves I like a, their masks. It saves they a cool. fortune. Yeah, I like the mask too. That's it saves a fortune on makeup. And in Halo. I like how inconspicuous the spies are. Yeah, man, yeah. you couldn't, couldn't spot them. <laughs> Crazy hey, it's those, it's those bikers who ruined the market. Let's kill them. They're going to war. Then we will be ready. Yeah, Please be over. Oh, uh, to ride. All right, we'll Please be over. Oh, yes, yeah. it's over. Fuck that. What are shit. we doing? What, what are we the doing? actual written by John Favreau? Oh, I just I don't know. Created by like what are we doing? I, I'm honestly struggling like to to <laughs> what articulate is the goal? what I think about all this because it's just like. At it's least like, the Tuscans are dead. Thank God. We saw Danny <laughs> Trejo. Monster, we got like 35 to 50 minutes of just like stuff happening. Just things going on and people getting into fights for no reason. And oh making decisions that don't seem to be informed by what's happening in the story. We sent the Wookiee to kill you. We're sorry. Um, we're leaving. <laughs> Here's a rancor. Now. Here's a rancor. Also, oh, <laughs> hey, let me give you the Wookiee back, all right? Here, here you go. No, we don't want him. We, we don't want him. Yeah. Actually, the Wookiee can leave so we can come like, back later what, in the season. What a bizarre cavalry. Like, what? what is happening? There is a shocking amount of not death oh, in look, this show Wookie about crime yeah, syndicates. Well, and, it's incredibly tame, isn't it? Like, It's shockingly it's tame. Just, why are we doing this premise if we're not going to try and commit to exploring it fully? In, in episode like, four, a dude got his arm chopped off by a lightsaber in a bar. Dude, people were incinerated in, this... in episode four. We saw the skeletons. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, the chase scene reminded me like a... Um, Molly, you're likely to get this reference Ooh. of like, you're the only one who will. It was like a Brum episode. Nope. Brum. It was a little, it's a little British kids show um, about a, a, a sentient little car that goes around booping little criminals. And when I say criminals, it's like, um, I think one of the only episodes premise that I can still remember now is someone who steals a golden toilet from a toilet shop. So that's the kind of premise, that's the kind of show that, um, that I feel we're on sort of tonal equivalence with here. Do you guys remember when this episode started with people stealing water and then the big drama was was the water being charged for enough we don't even know how much it was charged for we just know how we much have there no is information there's just no you think we're going back for that well boba didn't even have the amount of information he that's, would need that's to what i'm determine. saying like and we don't know anything about is there a water shortage is no, there we, we have, have no we don't have enough information for have, boba fett to be making have, such a bold decision <laughs> yeah have the tuscans been enslaving an and kidnapping moisture well, farmers they show him nothing but disrespect they clearly stole from this guy and then he's just like work for me they're like yeah okay i'll not yeah. i'll pay off what you stole and piss off him by giving him less than half but you guys are off the hook and i'll give you jobs those those speeder like bikes though, what they are so oversaturated. They don't feel like they would exist in this world. No, they you don't. Know. They they like feel very they out like of place. They're from the 50s, and it's the same they look with their like clothes as well. They don't look like they fit. Dude, they I, look, I, yeah, they I'm like sure they've just flown over from Coruscant. I'm sure there's people on Twitter who love them. Don't give me that crap about them having they could afford cybernetic weapon body parts and these motor speeder bikes, but they can't afford water. Yeah, fuck off! I don't believe you. Well, yeah, yeah they have these incredible speeders. You're right, and they've got these crazy cybernetics, like really crazy, and yet they're just what they can't afford to buy water, so they have to steal it. it almost steal feels it. like they they might have been lying to you but we just we, we assume that they're honest for some reason so this is the thing if this were an rpg you'd have to go around the whole town trying to figure out who's important who has the power and who's fucking lying to you like that is a big deal 
you have to gather clues and intelligence and you have to investigate to like five percent of this place at most well the thing is is barba just keeps making decisions without having access to information like we we that's how you run a criminal empire the amount of fucking times he's walking to the mayor's office with a gun i should employ them just keeps walking into the mayor's place like, I demand an audience, I have a gun. And then the mayor's aide yeah. is like, ooh, I oh, better no. run outside. Instead of just Why saying, oh, the, the you want to see- guards? This is, this is Tatooine. This is- Just say, Why does he oh, have no employees? Oh, the fucking hut's left. You scared off they the- They should have like, sent the lady oh, to kill him. That's so frustrating, by the what? way. Episode hey, two is like, the huts are involved. Business. The huts matter. Episode three, nah. Fine. But like, war no, is bad for fine. business, but we're gonna send this Wookiee to try and kill you. Not if you, you. win! <laughs> war is often really good for business. Well, no, I mean, I think that it's totally fine if we have, like, some of these crime bosses who want to do things as diplomatically as possible. Sure, but, like, yeah. that seems incongruous with I don't believe sending that about the a Wookiee to kill him. No, I, I don't You'd believe have that to... about the huts at all. You would have to explain and demonstrate that Boba Fett has some kind of leverage over them that is substantial. There's no way that a place like Tatooine gets given up just because they want to be diplomatic when you've had it's such an iron fist level why, rule. Well, and well, it's, it's, yeah, a it's a planet! planet. Does, well, and your previous Boba, custodian was Boba fucking Fett assassinated. Well, it feels like the standard thing. Why would Boba Fett want it and keep it for so long if it was worthless? Was he just a really bad Was he just really boss? into Tatooine? <laughs> it doesn't seem like he was. It seems like Tatooine is really useful. We still yeah. haven't. We still planet. don't even know why he likes Tatooine. Well, we don't know why Boba Fett likes. So Tatooine, Well, that would be yeah. a great thing that they could explain. Is like, well, Tatooine. Why, why would? Why do the huts like Tatooine? Fett... Why does this seg? Why explain like all of the people who know all this stuff are explaining to Boba Fett why this organization wants Tatooine? And and plus, let's be frank, Tatooine's a whole planet. We need yep. to get local. All right? Why? Yeah. How come I, you know, Moss Espa, Tad, you know, Moss Eisley, all the Mosses? Um, we need to find out why. Why does this organization care? Why does this organization care? Why does that organization care? Mm -hmm. And we just don't and we have plenty of time know. to do that, but we don't do it. No. That 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 speeder chase took twelve hours. <laughs> it was so That's lame. an hour per mile per hour. So fucking lame. So yeah, it's it blows my mind. By the way, the. There's so much about the assassination from the Wookiee that's so stupid, but the idea that everyone who works for Boba was in the building. <laughs> and only one of them brought a gun and shoot the one plating on the Wookiee, I think. Yeah, just, guns just don't work in this universe, <laughs> shut up. And even when we do see a gun, she takes a knife out of it, <laughs> and I'm just... Yeah, and then throws it at the Wookiee. <laughs> oh. That was the funniest <laughs> shit, dude. Instead of just stepping on his like, foot. Rags if finally got his gun and it don't was know what a else knife. Would do. <laughs> I'm so sad the Boba is so incompetent. I was just looking yeah. over the fight. Dude, that's a joke. Dude, like, um, do you see the part where, like, so he tosses him into all of his weapons, which is, like, nice one, Wookiee. Um, yeah. And then Boba... Because he hasn't already shot him. Boba just struggles with his little gauntlet. He's like, ooh, oh, what do I have to... Oh, <laughs> and it's like, Why no. does it even have to be on? Just point it at him and press the button. Well, it looked like that's what just he was trying to figure out. And it's like, why is there figuring out for you with this? It's your gauntlet. You've been using it your whole fucking life. You should know how to use it. The Wookiee being like, I'ma beat you with my knuckle dusters, my scythe. I knuckled it. It's like, why couldn't just you just kill him? Just get a gun and shoot him in the face, or get a knife and stab him. Why would you grab him out of the pod and just throw him around? It's the exact same shit with the, um, the assassins in episode one. It's just like, this isn't them trying to kill you. This is them trying to do weird tickly shit. So yeah. that we can have yeah. a fight. A little action scene where everybody throws each other around and uses weird electric whips and fucking God, knives. So I'm strange. A, I'm, a, I'm a tickle for hire. It's just so dumb, and everyone approaching one by one, all getting defeated. And yeah. You know that they were like, isn't this fucking epic? The Wookiee is so powerful, it takes everyone to take him down. It's just like, well, everyone's stupid, though. So like, just... Yeah, it takes ev it takes everyone, because no one, like, shot him. No one had a gun. One well, one of them had a gun, had a gun but they, like yeah, they only shot him in his armor, and that was it. Yeah, because it's like, this, this and is then Star he got Wars. really close to him, so that it could punt it out of the way instead of standing back. You know, out and of then he happened, reach. of all the places he could stand, it was right on top of the trap door. It's like, right. Yeah. Because of yeah, course. That's like yeah, they beat, they beat him not because of any skill, but because he decided to stand exactly on the trap door. Did he not yeah. know anything about the trap? Why would you send an assassin in who is unfamiliar with the terrain? How did he get in? If yeah, he everyone, get over, why would you send him in without a, a weapon? Seems that well, everyone knows I mean, about it, yeah. but apparently he didn't. Let's go ahead and compare Boba Fett's attempted assassin- second attempted assassination, apply quotation marks liberally wherever you please, with 
the attempted assassination in episode two uh, of Padme, right? Where that was <laughs> really dumb. That was extremely stupid with the, the robot that cuts out a hole in the glass and then puts some poison centipedes. And like, that's dumb. But holy shit, it's so much better. Like, it, it seems that those things would have killed her had they got to her. So that's something. That is something. Yeah. <laughs> but the, and, and the Wookiee clearly like didn't want to kill. He was he just. didn't have a weapon. You sent in your assassin without a weapon. Yeah, not remember the first right? time we see him? And he, remember the first time and we he see punched, him? He has a big gun. What's amazing, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, the first time he had a big ass gun. But in this, if he just had a knife, that would have done it. And his knuckle duster that's electrified. I'm I'm thoroughly convinced that electricity in this universe applies just non-lethal damage. It just makes it to where it doesn't but do anything. Use it it anyway. makes you go, Ooh, yeah, but he ee, smacked ooh. Boba Fett a Wookiee punch to the face with this electro fisticuff, and it did like nothing. Just shoot him and be done with it. Well, it sounded like it broke his back when he picked him up as well, but that didn't do anything. Yeah, I guess it didn't. And Boba Fett didn't gouge well. his eyes out or something. He's just like, well, I guess I'll die. And that's I the touched thing, your man. face. Didn't that sort of stop you? I guess we just can't do stuff like that. But how fucking awesome would it be if if they had a fight that involves stuff like that? Like Boba really will raw get his fighting. hands as dirty as he needs to to survive in a survival situation. Boba will do anything. You do not want to push him to that limit because he'll fucking do anything. He'll turn into a goddamn animal. No, -uh, he's. Wookie got to fight the cyberpunk rejects. Cyberpunk is what, yeah, that's it. They, they're a bunch of cyberpunk rejects who show up here. They're so out of place. They're just hanging around by their bikes, drinking their water. Why are they not drinking booze or something? I know of this water something? of which you speak. <laughs> I am I aware of water. I grew up water. near water. <laughs> what? <laughs> I grew up surrounded by water. What I know it, it doesn't cost So I know teeth. how you feel about it. <laughs> I mean, this for me is such a stupid life. line. I have no idea what that's supposed to do. Like, okay. Yeah. Like, Boba, this planet isn't covered by water. It's not cheap here. Well, I is, know it's what. Cheap on Camino. It's zero dollars on Camino. And I just then realized, by the way, got... the flashback in totality was just the Tuscans died. That's really yeah. all that was. Uh, well, oh, and also sad. that we learned a bit more about the new bad guys. Thank the whole God. Season, which bullet train people. <laughs> Yeah, I get the gun train people. Gun train people. I mean, <laughs> yeah, they're the baddies. Sorry. How can I get that wrong? Wait, no, they're not the bad because well, it was bullet the... train is actually a thing. Yeah, bullet trains are a thing, but gun trains are a thing. That's we saw it. Um, so the well, uh, I was just gonna say the, the bad guys are the bikers right now, right? Well, the, no. So the the modern day bad guys the are heroes. the people that he he uh is he's trying to help out, make the deal with the the, the people on the, the train. train people. The past bad guys are the the, the, the bikers. Yeah. Is, it, is the twist going to be that it was the gun train people told the bikers to do what they've done? Maybe, Ooh, yeah. Ooh, that would be so cool. That would be so awesome. I'm sure And plus, when really Boba cool Fett not... is told that we've been lied to, it's actually this. He's like, okay. <laughs> I like the, the exchange as well, where it's like, we're not supposed to pay two parties. And then he just goes, we are one party. Like, yeah, there's another one. Yeah, there's <laughs> another asking one. for payment. Yeah, I didn't just say that for no reason. He's got. Have you noticed how many lines like that Boba has? Just really shit dialogue where he says Same, something, and you well, you almost wonder, like, wait, Boba, do you understand what's happening right now, or are you trying to? Be yeah, honest? it was the same as. Um, are you lost? You, you, you two people. You're, you know, the throne that your previous employer sat on. I wasn't employed by Bib Fortuna. No, Chap Jabba. <laughs> Jabba was the, yeah, the other like, one. Yeah, yeah. Jabba, exactly. It is, he was it's the like one we're talking to. to. Um, <laughs> it's like Fucking talking brick to. Um, wall. It's like talking it's to like, his son. My my grandma near the end. She wasn't quite all there always, and it's it, you had to talk to her like that sometimes. Boba Fett's but, you know, of course he'd be nice about it. Yeah, what's his, what's Boba's excuse? Well, I think that's yeah. what a lot of people do in these scenes. They <laughs> humor him. Dumb. Like, a lot of characters are humoring this this old man who's very confused. And then we got the Rancor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't I, wait sorry, till that I shows just, up later. Like, the, the huts, they spent... Imagine how long it took them to get there just to say, we're leaving. <laughs> sorry, you have a Rancor. And they show up Bye. in person. Yeah, well, we have a Rancor detected. gift. Why? Do they, are they that afraid of Boba that they'd be like, we better give him a Rancor, he might come and get us. I guess imagine, so. Also, imagine how long it took them to get there, considering they insist on traveling by platforms suspended on people's <laughs> shoulders. Uh, yeah. Also, I guess Daddy Trejo just lives here now and trains the rank yeah. for him. He's just here now. Well, he's a good friend of Robert Rodriguez's, so it makes sense that he's going to be here. 
which is cool with me, and I like him. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, no one, no one, no one, no one agreed that he's allowed to live here. I don't mean, I don't have a problem. He with did. He just in this. lives here now. Yeah. He just lives in the palace now and trains the rancor. It's so that's really fun. It's fucking absurd Maybe he, though. There's like, here's your Wookiee back. Nah, we don't want him. Like, what do you? What do you what do, <laughs> but he could totally be a double agent. That would he, no, like, but that would be interesting. But no, but like. Jabba shouldn't have accepted him because of how he's like. No, I wouldn't let your random employee come and live in my Jabba, palace. No, yeah. <laughs> Boba, sh shut up. It's so. That's funny. actually true. I, I guess, that's a good point. Yeah, I guess Danny. Yeah, I guess Danny Trejo was like, "Oh, am I? Am I not? Am I? Am I fired? <laughs> hey, look, are you firing me? Is, you can't fire me. I quit. Rent. It's hard to make rent here in uh, Tatooine. Do you know how it is to get to water? Get Do you know the prices? Oh my god. Where, where's the scene where there's the discussion of why is water so expensive? Because this, this, and this. Mm. And then they have to discover why. Why are the prices the way they are? How do we resolve this while trying maybe, to yeah, keep maybe things- Yeah, maybe Boba Fett will be proactive and actually no, no. find cure more water for no, everybody. No, you know what you know, what, no. Boba can solve it by saying, you need to do better, Senator. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you need um, to do better, water farmer. It's an interesting comparison, by the way. There's uh, this show where there's this there's a nerdy character, and uh, but she's she's a southerner, and there's a point where um, people are asking um. what it <laughs> smells like when you've made uh, when you when you're making alcohol, and she immediately says molasses uh, comes up with with different like that's the kind of smell you'd get, and it's just like oh that's neat that she would know that you wouldn't maybe expe you wouldn't expect her to know a lot about moonshine and shit, but. Uh, because she's a southern, we, we that specific history. There's this reasoning there that why she would know that smell. He's like, okay, I feel like they were trying to do that. They were like, whatever water comes up, Boba's gonna have to say something because he's from Camino. And you're like, what? <laughs> like, water I'm Camino, familiar with I? water. <laughs> he's like, yeah. he's a very water centric character. <laughs> water is who I am. What are you In talking fact, it's about ninety eight percent of who I am. <laughs> I just my it's body's so mostly water. <laughs> It's so inept. Like, <laughs> imagine he said that. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, water. My body's ninety-eight percent water. I'm familiar with water. I'm I familiar with water. I, I like to water. get wet. Uh, I spend my days in a Bacta tank. I'm familiar with liquids. <laughs> what the fuck? Why don't you just sleep in a bed like a normal person? Because he's healing rags and he's just flash. He seems okay. I I don't know. Right? I'm I'm no doctor, but he does seem like he's doing really okay. Other than the incredible stupidity thing. Well, I mean, episode four's flashback will be him trying to hunt down those fucking bikers now, isn't it? That's what we're gonna yeah. get. Oh, God. Yeah, I can't wait until they Maybe get killed, I guess. Maybe this crazy shit with these 50s bike hover things with these... We well, gains a, gains another member slash members of his team every episode, doesn't he? Do you think this is Seems the rise way, being like, yeah. he's building his empire, while we're just like, It's oh. like the Avengers, Exactly. Mar. It's him building a team, that's what it's... So That's what it's supposed to be. It's so shitty, though. That's it's just amusing. so shitty. Yeah. Book of Boba Fett is oh, such a shit the, show. The constant not caring shit about show is a, shit show. a group of people armed to their teeth coming up to you and just like, uh, no, old man. It's like, okay. There's like two guards. We know who you are, but we don't respect rifle. you. Well, it's the thing, he's just not threatening at all, is he? Yeah, and wherever yeah. they go, no one even gives a shit. They have like weapons like, oh no, you have to wait for an appointment, people armed to the teeth. It's not what? just that no one respects him, which is bizarre. It's that he allows himself to be so thoroughly yeah. disrespected yeah, everywhere. Like mm -hmm. he should shoot half these people. He really should. He needs to like, uh, whenever a conversation starts like he did with those punks, he needs to put one right between the fucking eyes of the first person who steps out of line and says, listen up, fuckers. I'm he's in charge. A kind of crime boss, though, Rags. He's That's a nice true. crime boss. Yeah, he's a crime he's the kind of crime boss crime you try boss, to kill yeah. and then get a job from. He's like, you know, he's like, I don't want you to think of me as a crime boss. I want you to be think. I thought you to think of me as a friend first and a crime yeah, boss second. Crime mm -hmm. boss second. Uh, you know, um, think of me. As a, I don't. Well, want <laughs> Jay, you're gonna love that when you see it on the the yeah. premiere of this. Oh, it's fun. What? Um, what? <laughs> <laughs> what's uh, what's funny? What's funny about that? You Guilty. will see. You will see what's funny about that. Do you know when they Use. they attack his uh, his little speeder with their their amazing augments? Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the the guy's foot that he attacks it with is literally it's like, like a jackhammer with yeah, a spike yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hammer like, why yeah. is what this the a fuck? thing? The it, does the woman's red arm yeah. does it do anything, or is it just a robot arm that's red? And the hand isn't even a robot hand either. So what does it do? Is it grab just grab stuff? 
<laughs> I guess. I guess I'm wondering why the why the arm is better than the the you know the factory settings arm that you were born with. Well, yeah, imagine he just pulled out a gun instead of using his small flame arm. Not at yeah. we can't have guns. Crazy. Or, or yeah, because that would or be... explosive or... <laughs> Do not tell me that the cybernetic is more... is less expensive than just a gun. Or a stick, actually, or thinking about it. Could have just <laughs> if hit he just hit the guy in the head with a stick, it would have been better. <laughs> no, he, no, he, he, no, he can't get a stick. He doesn't have a, a, a lizard nose. That's he, right, um... he doesn't have the lizard vision quest. That's true. That is very true. That's the I only way to obtain sticks. Okay, bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Goodbye. What'd you bring me?